Our breakfast cereals were born out of religious beliefs of the American Seventh-day Adventists, vegetarians who in 1860 founded a sanatorium where patients were fed only cereals, wheat flakes invented by Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. His brother, William Keith, saw a promising future and built the first flakes factory to market the product whose success would later be imitated by the famous Charles William Post as Post Cereals. The making of frosted corn flakes starts in this cooker. The corn kernels are cooked here for two hours and 20 minutes. The corn kernels are then ground up. They're ground up by this endless worms group. It also determines the number of kilos of kernels needed to make up a cereal recipe. The ground corn is next dried in a dryer unit an important step before they're cooked. To give them their nice flat shape, the corn kernels are crushed in the flake roller. Two rollers turn opposite to each other and the kernels fall into the constricted space between them. The flakes then fall onto this conveyor and the next step will be cooking. The flakes arrive at the cooking oven. They're shaken to make sure they will be uniformly brown. The flakes exit the oven well brown. Then they fall into this chute and head in the direction of the next step. This vibrating conveyor sorts the flakes and retains only the right sized ones. This drum mixes the flakes and sprays them with a sweet solution boiling at 230 degrees centigrade. The sweet solution is dried, and a rake uniformly spreads out the frosted flakes on the canvas. Now they add in vitamins. The cereals are placed into this rotating drum. The vitamins are sprayed onto the flakes by a series of jets. The cereals are now finished, and they head toward the packaging site. This packager fills the bags with cereal. It handles between 40 and 45 bags a minute before they head off for final packaging. This plant doesn't only make cereals, it also makes soft cereal bars. This kneader mixes the ingredients, oat flakes, rice, and syrup. The preparation is mixed twice a minute. When well mixed, the preparation is poured into a large container. They will now proceed with the molding of the bars. Contents of the bin are emptied onto a conveyor, and then the preparation is spread out. Here they add chocolate chips to the preparation. The mix is compressed to the desired bar thickness by this roller. The bar separator then divides the mix into 35 equal strips. And then a guillotine cuts the bars to their proper length. The bars continue circulating. This equipment is used to line up the bars and make the packaging process easier. Side by side, the bars are here turned so that they run one behind the other. This roller applies a delicious caramel fondant to the bars. This caramel fondant then cools and sets. They're now at the final stage of production, coating with chocolate. About 180 kilos of chocolate are needed for the bar recipe. Now finished, the bars are ready for packaging. This machine individually bags the bars. Finally, they proceed with the packaging. 
These tasty bars will be enjoyed by children as well as adults.